All right, guys, it's time for the first major modification to my SSR, SR250S. So we're going to go and dive right into it and attempt to install the Electron carburetor. So I've got um, some other pieces here in working with Charles over at MX Revival. Um, one of the challenges that we're trying to work through is what size throttle cable. Apparently a previous customer used this cable, which is the one that typically ships, has this bent um, elbow here that goes into the carburetor. Um, and that was the wrong threads that fit into the stock throttle housing. So we are trying this one that's got a little smaller thread pitch, but it has a straight um, entry point into the carb. So we're gonna see if that works. If that doesn't work, We'll go with the standard one and install a whole new throttle housing. So that's the project at hand. We're going to get set up, uh, get my tools ready, and start disassembly and see what this thing could do. Hopefully we can get it done uh, in a couple hours here and give it a rip. So like I mentioned, I am a beginner. I'm pretty mechanically inclined. I've worked on cars, worked on trucks four-wheelers, but this is my first dirt bike. And I've got to say, I am looking for all you SSR 250, 350, or 300 and 450 owners. Fill me in what techniques you guys use to get your bike in a stand, because this thing's a pig and it's super heavy. I mean, I'm not, um, I'm no bodybuilder, but I'm in decent shape. I go to the gym multiple times a week and it was struggle city getting that thing up on there. And I've watched a couple of videos put the thing on my hip, grab the fender. It still was a struggle. So I'm curious, put down in the comments. Let me know what you guys do to get your bikes up on a stand because uh, I don't know, man, I'm uh, almost 45 years old and I don't want to throw my back out trying to put this crazy thing up on a stand. All right, first step is we're going to figure out the situation with this throttle cable. So I'm going to go ahead and unthread this and test out which cable I'm going to be looking at using. That'll tell me if I'm going to have to remove this entire housing or if I'm going to be able to use the short cable. But I won't really know until I take the tank off. So um, I'll set the camera up and just start doing the disassembly, put you guys on time lapse because I don't have a place to set up the camera to get a good angle. So enjoy the time lapse. All right, so I got the fuel tank off. Um, it wasn't too bad. I was uh, trying to figure out <laughs> what fuel line to keep in and what fuel line to take off, but um, I think the right way to do it, and uh, it's probably obvious to you guys who work on bikes, but I took the petcock valve uh, with the tank so that I could shut it off, and obviously the fuel doesn't flow all out. So here's the fuel line from the carb that will go in the trash with the old carb. And um, yeah, so now I'm just trying to figure out how much more disassembly I want to do. I feel like the carb should be able to come out of there, so I may be lazy and not take the rear subframe off. I don't know, I may regret that, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try to try to do it with just the fuel tank off. It gives me access to the throttle cable and everything. Okay, quick update here from the bench. So this is the stock um, throttle housing. And as I mentioned before, one of the challenges um, that we were anticipating in working with MX Revival on this is that these threads are too small for the standard um, throttle cable that ships with Electron Card. <clears throat> so we tried this smaller one. Uh, the problem we ran into is the brass um, stopper here at the end of the throttle cable is still too big to fit into the hole, the threaded hole. So in addition to that, um, where is it? Yep. So this is the stock throttle inner handle tube. These holes are just a couple thou too small to fit. Try to do this one handed here. 
but they will not fit this larger brass stopper. So um, we suspected this. Um, so you need a whole new throttle housing to work with this electron carb, which we just uh, mocked up and put together. It's on there, um, put the stock handle on. Um, wasn't too bad. I just uh, squirted some lithium uh, silicone, not lithium, silicone spray inside there, folded the thing back about halfway so that there's less friction. And then I was able to slowly work it out and put it on the same way. And it's, it's pretty well on there. So this is the new um, aftermarket throttle housing. It has the right size threads. So we'll be able to use the proper uh, standard throttle cable. So that's that problem um, figured out. Next up, we're going to rip out the stock carb and start putting in the electron. And just a quick note, this is the um, throttle control, the new throttle uh, handle, whatever the proper name for it is. This is what we are using right here, the part number and... Um, I don't know if that's a brand or not, but see if that helps you. All right, let's get back to work. All right, let's get this guy out of here. I'll loosen these hose clamps up as much as possible to make my life easier. And then on the airbox side, I'm going to loosen that up as well. There is a chance, um, I was told the last, last guy that put this carb on an SR250S, had to heat up the airbox side um, of the intake into the carb to get it to fit over the electron. So we'll see if that's the case with us. Let me uh, get some gloves on because I'm gonna probably spill some fuel. All right, so carb is coming out nicely. Um, here's our next complication on this model bike. This bike has a choke cable coming up to the handlebars. So um, it's got a little choke lever there and of course cable fed. And uh, that's not likely gonna work with the Electron Carb. The choke is right on it. So um, I'm just going to remove this cable altogether and we'll remove it from the handlebars as well uh, and just be done with it so that we have no choke. All right, that looks like it's probably a 13 millimeter. Oh, maybe a 14. Yeah, 14. All right, there's the choke. A little washer here. And out she goes. So, um, we'll just go ahead and take the cable out first and then figure out what we're going to do with this. I may leave it on to see, I don't know, may, there's always a chance in the future I'll have another carb or a way to use the choke cable. So I'll just leave the handle on and remove the cable. All right, update. So I've got the thing in there, the thing being the carb, and I will say getting the air box boot onto the carburetor was struggle city um charles again over at mx revival suggested a little heat on the rubber um to soften it up that's a great tip um didn't take much um was able to do it without breaking the tab <laughs> um but i got it on there um but as you can see the front boot is is not in place I couldn't get it with it in place. I'm going to try to muscle it on from there. Um, hopefully just pushing back on the rubber boot. The airbox boot is pretty pliable. So I'm hoping just to be able to push it back and get this thing on there. So wish me luck. After we get that hooked up, we'll uh, throttle cable, fuel line, and we should be good to go. All right, success. Not without uh, a fight, but it's in there. Um, so tips, I would say the uh, airbox side boot is definitely the one to go first. Um, that's more pliable. You can press on it and push it back. This is really stiff. Um, what I end up having to do is um, take it out completely like I showed in the last clip. Put it on the carb first, carb side. Take these um, clamps completely off and just put it over this 
intake boot and just kind of wedge this thing in, use a screwdriver and a pick tool to just kind of finally work it around. It seems like, um, it seems like with this carb, because it's bigger, it's just not on there quite straight. But as you can see, that clamp's got a good purchase on it. I'm happy with it. I don't think it'll leak. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. But it does, it does seem like it's a little bit of an angle, which I guess I didn't really pay attention. The last stock carb must have been like that too. Um, but I think we're good. Those, those hoses are pretty forgiving in general. Uh, intake hoses like that, they're silicone, they're rubber. Um, as long as you clamp down on them, they should be good. All right, so next step is to get the top of the carb plate off and get this um, cable installed. So that'll be next. All right, throttle cable is in. Um, quick tip that uh, don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> um, make sure you pull this top off and get the throttle cable in before you put the boots in, which I'm saying that, but as I'm saying it now, I'm thinking as hard as that was to fit in without taking the rear subassembly off and the airbox, it probably would have been impossible to get it with the throttle cable attached. So I think your options are, you can you can go through Struggle City like I did, and I'll talk about how I got that in here in a second. Or um, you take this rear sub-assembly, the rear frame off with the air box, install the carb, and then put the air box on. Um, that's probably the better way to do it. I'm like notorious for finding difficult ways to do things, but... Um, that it gives you access to put your finger in and push the uh, the carburetor slide door intake thing out. I had to use a little pick tool very carefully. I did not score up the sides, um, but I was able to get it in there and, and pull it out because I couldn't get my finger in because the carburetor is installed, but I got it. So the cable is in. I've got um, the basics tension now. Pretty good. I'll adjust it further um, a little later, do the final adjustment. But um, the cable does sit pretty high with this uh, little elbow thing. I think it's gonna be fine. I think the tank doesn't go down that far, but we'll, we'll check that next. The tank will go in here uh, next and we'll start doing the final adjustment and reassembly and fire this thing up. But we're getting there. All right, fuel tank is on um, and the fuel line is on. I cut it to size. A little extra slack in there so it's got nice straight run um, it's gonna be hard to see on camera but maybe you can see a little bit right there there's the elbow for the throttle cable and it's not bad let me spin over to the other side and show you from that angle. so here's the throttle cable coming up alongside the tank uh, it could I mean I would say it could stand to be a couple more inches longer but it works. Um, let's see if you can see here. Yeah, I mean, it clears the tank. Uh, that elbow is able to swivel back and forth. And then it routes here alongside and then between the rad up through the handlebars, just like stock. So I think we're good. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, use some zip ties to tidy up these hoses to keep them away from the chain down there back behind the transmission and uh, make sure nothing gets tangled up and jacked up and I'm going to start going over everything and uh, we'll do some final adjustments on the throttle cable and start filling up that bowl and see how she goes yeah man so we turned uh, that cock on and how cool is that I love the transparent bowl that's that's a cool thing I don't know why all cars don't have a transparent bowl like that. You know, you could see if the gas is bad. Um, yeah, cool feature. All right, she is on there. Car bowl is full. I'm gonna give everything a once over, slap the battery in, and I gotta tighten down some things up here. This is just on temporarily, so I'm gonna tighten these bolts, our eight millimeter bolts, to get this all squared away, put this cover on. And I think we're gonna fire her up. Boys, you know what that means. She's back together. So it's on, it's ready for our 
Um, our first start. I say first because I may have started it already. <laughs> Sorry guys. Yeah, I did actually. Before I put all the plastics on, I fired it up. It took several cranks. Um, as you'd expect, you know, fuel's got to get through the system, but um, popped the choke up just for a couple times and she purred as you will see here once I get it off the stand and outside so I don't snake up my garage. Um, but it, yeah, I'll let you hear it here in a second. All right, we're chasing daylight here. Okay, we may need some adjustments here. I'm gonna play with it and check back in. All right, so it runs good, but there's a lot of tension to get it off of idle on the throttle cable. You know, like it's really tight here. Not sure what that is. Is that too tight maybe? Let me try to loosen that screw. Yep, that's what it was. I had tightened that screw down a little too tight. Got a little too ambitious with it. It was kind of, not that it was jammed off idle, but it was, it was just really tight to pop it off idle. That's a lot better. Oh. It's uh, a world of difference, no doubt about it. Um, it's just more linear power through the revs, more consistent, 
haven't really even touched it yet. I'm going to do some research, find out what the ways, you know, what to play with. I'm not familiar with these cars. Like I said, guys, this is, this is perspective of a total newbie. So, um, it was a challenging install. It's doable for anybody who is at least moderately, I would say an intermediately uh, mechanically inclined person, somebody who knows their way around a toolbox, you can handle it. A little patience, a little persistence, a little guidance from people like Charles over at MX Revival or any of the forums, people over at Lectron, you could do it. But, you know, it's, it's, not, a, uh, it's not a hop out there and do it in one hour unless you're really experienced um, working on bikes. Um, was it worth the investment? Absolutely. So far, I, I can tell you it's just the way it idles. As soon as I fired it up and the way it came right down to a smooth idle, the stock carb would just go nuts. It, uh, sometimes it would idle really high, blowing back smoke, um, fouling plugs, running really rich. It, it was uh, a, a big struggle. And really, I got to the point where I was pretty frustrated with the purchase, even though I got this for a steal. Um, so yeah, it's expensive, but man, uh, so far so good. I'll do another follow-up video, maybe some helmet cam riding. Uh, you can see I'm chasing daylight here. The weekend's about done. I got to get inside, eat some dinner with the family, but I'm super pumped about the investment. I'm super pumped about getting to ride this thing and taking it out. Honestly, I was afraid to take this bike, uh, to any tracks or trails in this area i'm in you know i'm in central north carolina there is a lot of really exciting looking trails for me to explore and uh to be honest guys with the stock carb i was just kind of afraid i i, I don't want to get stranded um with a fouled plug or who knows you know again i'm a beginner here and i think that's kind of the target demographic for these ssr bikes so ssr if you're watching hook up with uh, electron and include these carbs as a <laughs> as an option at least or maybe as a premium upsell or something like that. I think um, I think you would do well. Um, anyways, guys, that's about it. Um, I plan on doing some more uh, videos on this bike. Um, if you don't mind, hit the like button, hit subscribe, uh, leave me a comment on what you'd like to see. I've already uh, I've got some replacement plastics, as you can see, met a tree in in an aggressive fashion. So I've already got some plastic replacements there. Um, I think I'm gonna to try to straighten up this rad that I bent up. I'm gonna probably pay, pull that off. If you wanna see a video of me attempting that, probably botching it up and having to buy a new one, uh, let me know in the comments. I will do that. And um, yeah, anything else, anything else you guys wanna see, definitely do some riding videos. I'll include those. Um, yeah, I think that's about it guys. So uh, yeah, fun job um, and really excited about using this bike to learn and build my skills and more than anything have some fun out in the trails so uh thanks guys for watching uh thanks again to charles over at mx revival um for his help for his support and obviously this is uh because of him and his work with electron that this is even possible so uh guys hit him up he's got a youtube channel check out his website check him out on social um that's about it guys thanks